Hi, my name is João César, but you can call me JC. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a JSFL script file to automate some tasks inside of Animate CC. So let's start. Open up Animate, create a new action script, 3.0 document, draw a square, turn this into a move clip, or drag some instance. I'm going to create a ball. Twenty eight here, okay. But it can be the number the number you want to. If you select one called the property inspector, you see it has no name. So if I wanted to rename all of them, I would have to to go one by one and give and give a name in sequence. Okay, like this. Well, this is a very tedious task. To automate this, I'm gonna save this file on my desktop. I'm gonna call this rename instances. Okay, I'm gonna close this file so you can see here. NMATC has a document model for JSFL script file, JavaScript, JavaScript, Flash. You can create a this kind of script using any text editor, but I'm gonna use Animate CC because it gives me code completion, okay? I'm gonna save this on my desktop too. As rename instance as well. All we need here is some variables in the folder. The first variable is a reference to the document DOM. Then I'm gonna call doc. Uh, I'm going to access the FL object and call the get document DOM function. I'm gonna need another variable called selection to store the elements we select on the stage. I'm going to call the doc variable and call it its property called selection. Okay. That is just a simple array. The next one will be a variable uh, called i for the iteration uh, and another one called total that will store the total of instance selected I'm gonna get this total by calling the selection variable and its length property okay the last variable I need here is a variable called prefix that will be the constant the, the fixed, fixed part of our names okay in this case, I'm going to call this style, but you can call anything you want, okay? For loop, it will be very simple. I will initialize the variable i as 0, it will be smaller than total, it will increase by 1 at each iteration, okay? All I have to do here is to call the selection array, access each index it has through the i variable access the main property and say say it uh, it says it equals to the prefix plus the i variable okay i'm gonna save this i'm gonna resize my animate window here i'm gonna open up my fla again select instances and if if everything is Correct, I'm gonna drag this over. If I call the properties panel, you see they all got renamed. But there's a small detail that you can see. The first one I created is actually the last one. So you need to reverse this, okay? All I have to do is to go back to our script, get the selection property, and call the reverse method. Okay. I'm going to select everything again, drag my script over again, and as you can see, it's renamed in the order we were expecting. So that's it, people. I hope you like it. Share if you wanted, and comment something below. Bye bye.